All right, today we're making one of our all-time favorite fall recipes, and that is our delicious apple crisp with our secret ingredient. So let's get started. started on any of the recipe or the secret ingredient, <laughs> I need Julianne, she's gonna help me uh, peel and core all of the apples that we need. So she's gonna be my, my assistant, you're gonna see her working on the side here. Thank you <laughs> for helping me. It goes faster when you have two people helping. Okay, so for this recipe, because we're a large family, we're doing a nine by 13. So obviously, you can have this recipe, but we don't need to here. We're gonna eat this all. So, all right, you can get started and peeling and coring. She's gonna peel and core between eight and 10 apples for a nine by 13, okay? It obviously depends on the size of, of your apples, but today we have pretty good size, large honey crisp apples. Um, I know everybody has their opinion on what kind of apple they like to use the best, but we are big fans of honey crisp around here. So that's what we're gonna use today for this recipe. But use what you have. You you know, we've also made this with those free apples. Um, you guys saw our video, you know, the, the four ways to put up apples that are free apples that weren't like the sweetest, but it still made the best apple crisp. So you guys gotta try this recipe out. Okay, so while Jules is doing that, I'm gonna work on the crumble. I have my nine, th nine by 13 pan and it is already buttered and my oven is already set at 375 degrees uh, and it's preheating, okay? All right, so for our crumble, I'm gonna start with two and a fourth cups of brown sugar. I'm gonna pack it. So there's two, I'm gonna get the fourth. Now listen, this is dessert. We're not gonna be offended that there's two cups, two and a fourth cups of sugar in this, okay? When you're having dessert, you might as well do it right. Just wait till how much butter, you find out how much butter we're putting. Okay, so two and a fourth cups of brown sugar. Next, I'm gonna put in one and a half cups of our flour. Okay, one and a half cups of flour. Next, we're gonna do one and a half cups of our, our oats. Today we're using old-fashioned rolled oats, the organic ones. Um, you can use other kinds depending on what you have. Like the instant rolled. Yeah, you organic. can use, in this, in this recipe, you can use the instant oats if you want to. But we, we're not, this is what we have. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of our oats. We are going to do two teaspoons of our brown cinnamon. Of course, you have to get all those awesome spices for this time of year. Okay, so two teaspoons. Give this a quick stir just to get all the dry ingredients kind of mixed. Break up that brown sugar because that likes to clump up. Or does not want to come up. <laughs> Someone gave us a tip on something to do. Now I can't remember what she said. Oh, I'll have to look back at what the tip was. You guys have the best tips in the comments. Okay, so we're mixing this up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna add our liquid, our butter. And we have one cup of butter. That's right, it's dessert. Remember that. Okay, we're gonna put in our vanilla, and I'm not even, I don't know, put in as much as you want. I'm putting in probably a tablespoon of vanilla. But you guys can do whatever you want. Okay, now we're gonna incorporate this really well. This is gonna make our crumble that's gonna go on the top of this. We have to fix. Our Julianne's putting, getting peels in here. Not that it's a big deal, it's not really, but. It cooks 
down. Okay. Oh, it smells so, those apples smell so good. What are your guys, your favorite apples? I know we've got bakers watching right now. What apples do you like to use for your apple pies and for your crisps and stuff? What are your favorites? Honey crisp has always been my favorite. Uh, I like Granny Smith too. I like tart, sweet apples. All right, you can see here we're turning into a crumble. Getting the chunks. So I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. I was just telling Julianne this morning when we were talking about making this, I was like, I have been making this apple crisp recipe <laughs> since you were born. That's how long we have stuck with this recipe. And um, I, I can't even tell you where the original recipe came from, but it definitely has morphed over the years. We, we've added our secret ingredient, we'll get to that in a minute, and uh, we've tripled the crumble because <laughs> we are crumble people around here. So yeah, we've tweaked it to be even more delicious and we have stuck with it. We have not changed it since we've made all those little tweaks. All right, my crumble's done. How are you doing? Almost done. You have a few extra, you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to do those all right now. Okay, that is ready. Okay, so just in case anyone is uh, interested in knowing, I know you guys have asked before in our other Apple video, which we could probably put up, uh, put a link right here for that. But um, this is our apple peeler that we got from Real King. We have had several over the years, and I think we've gotten, we've gotten them at Walmart, we've gotten them off of Amazon. <laughs> this one was from Real King. Julianne's eating all the apples. I'm eating all so the she's apples. She's laughing at me, just staring at me while I'm, while I'm talking. But uh, this one in particular is from Royal King. We really like it. It's a pretty color. Anyway, you can get it lots of different places if you guys want to check it out online. Okay, so Jules got me my beautiful Honeycrisp apples in my greased 9 by 13 pan. All right, and here is where, I know we already added cinnamon to our crumble, but this is where the extra stuff comes in, okay? Here's a sprinkle of cinnamon that I do. I spilled it on the side. Because you just can't have enough cinnamon. A little sprinkle of nutmeg. This is one of Julianne's little additions that she has added. Very gentle. Tiny. Tiny bit because it's very strong. Okay, so take it easy on that. And then here's the secret ingredient, you guys. I'm sure some of you already do this. But our homemade caramel. Here, Marie, you didn't get to see how pretty it is. Our homemade caramel, this was just made yesterday by Marie. Yep. Marie made this yesterday. Uh, we actually sh sell this in our farm shop here on site. Sorry guys, it's not a part of the online store. <laughs> Maybe someday, but not yet. So uh, yeah, you can, you can check out the website for other things, but not for the homemade caramel. So here's where we, uh, you know what? Please. Can you grab me a spoon real quick? So this caramel is the best caramel sauce that you will ever have. And I'm allowed to say that because it's not our recipe. My friend gave us this recipe and it's, we, we will not turn it's back. So good. So anyway, this is the secret ingredient, you guys. I don't call this a caramel apple crisp, but I put caramel on it. And it's just a drizzle over the top before I put the crumble. And it's like, you can't tell that there's caramel in it, but you can just tell that there's something awesome in it. And then <laughs> this is what it is. So we put this on top, drizzle it around. All right, and then we put our crumble on top. If you guys are interested in this caramel recipe, I'm sure my friend would let me show you guys how to make it. We'll see. Let me know if you're interested in it in the comments. All right, now comes the crumble. The huge amount of caramel because it's so good. But it, seriously, if you're having dessert, it might as well be delicious. All right, we're gonna make sure our entire top is covered with a nice layer of the crumble.
And as this bakes, it will get just nice and dark and golden brown on top and you can tell it's all caramelized and, and beautiful. All right, so again, oven is preheated to 375. I'm gonna bake this for 45 minutes maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I will let you know today, because it changes every time depending on the moisture in the apples yeah. and how big the apples are and all that, but around 45 minutes. When it's all done, I'll tell you how long I, I let it go for. And I will check back with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, the apple crisp is done and blazing hot. I left it in for 50 minutes. I checked it at 45 and I was like, eh, I can go it a little bit longer. But if you see here, Hopefully the lighting is okay, but you can see the beautiful caramel edges and the bubbles and the uh, like the caramel coming up and the butter caramelizing and all that deliciousness. And my house, of course, smells amazing. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you try this recipe at home and enjoy it with your family. And yeah, get yourself some ice cream and some caramel and just really have a good dessert. All right, we'll see you guys later.